Simon Ditchburn. This is the Cube Condominium in Patia, and we're starting to pour the concrete of the seventh floor and what's going to be the start of a very long day. Off to the best of starts this morning. The pump truck arrived at 8 o'clock, which was fantastic, but the concrete trucks couldn't get here until 11 o'clock. They had to fight their way through all of the traffic this morning. But nevertheless, we're now underway, and there's the first truck being poured. We've chosen the remote control pump again because it basically saves on so much labor. There's the concrete vibrator. It takes three men to operate that machine. It's a two horsepower Honda engine. It's basically the equivalent of carrying around a lawnmower. Three concrete trucks lined up there and queuing now. That should keep our flow going very nicely. We've got a good overhead shot here where you can see that the bathrooms are definitely a set level lower than the main floor just moving across into the corner you can see that the concrete pump doesn't quite reach that last corner so the poor guy is having to hold up the chute and he's having to work a little bit manually a bit too much concrete in that area the concrete out to make sure that we really do have a good step in those bathrooms to be lower than the main floor. And there's our leveller just working away with the derby. Again, you can see where the pump doesn't quite reach that far corner, so we've got a couple of guys in there actually raking the concrete right into the corners. A little bit of manual work, that won't hurt them. It's about four concrete trucks now, and it's covering an area just big enough to do one of our two bedroom apartments. So as we swing the camera around, you can see we still have a very long way to go.
directly below that concrete pour now. I've come down to inspect the scaffold. As you can imagine, this is an incredibly nerve-wracking time. Now we do have a large amount of water that's seeping through the boards, which is completely normal to be honest with you. Concrete holds a large amount of water, but it's looking very good. I can't see any weakening of the scaffold. Well, the morning after has come. We're flying the drone over and now inspecting to make sure that we have no cracks. Make sure that we don't have any mishaps around those garden areas. Of course, with the inspection being clear, we're now free to go straight on with the columns. There's the first of the cases, all in place, ready for the concrete. Here's an overhead flight above the scaffold of the roof that has just been poured. Now, as I explained before, we have no cracks, we have no signs of problems. So I'm really pleased to say that our post-tension engineer has just signed his paperwork, which means we are completely free to pour that concrete into the columns. With the slab, the seventh floor slab being poured, we can now move on to the columns which will support the eighth floor in what we call zone A. Now the zone A is leading directly from Tudor Court down to the Nordic group. Now over on the bottom side which runs parallel with the Nordic group, just coming into view now, this area will actually be up to the roof. Just setting up the first column ready to be poured with concrete. We actually soak all of the casings with water first and that allows the concrete to slide inside that casing more easily. Here's the first bucket of concrete and you can notice that the front of the bucket has actually got a pouring spout, just like a teapot really. It allows everything to be more accurate, get it inside those casings. As well as the columns, we are also able to pour one of the fire staircases there today. It's a bit of a bonus area for me actually. And there's the guys just levelling off the steps. bucket being lowered down to the truck for another refill. The 
Seventh floor concrete slab has now reached its curing stage, which basically means it's now hard enough for us to be able to remove the scaffolding. So here is your first opportunity to see those garden bays with the walkway that runs right the way through the middle of it. And yes, it will have a handrail eventually once it's completed. But it gives you an opportunity to see that garden area for the first time, including a roof. And you can just see how large an area this is going to be. Really big enough to get a full size tree inside. Lovely, makes a complete inside garden. This is the inside of the sixth floor where we're actually stripping that scaffolding out. And they're very nicely and neatly stacking it all together. So it will be ready to be used on the seventh floor to support the roof. Here's the second garden with the scaffolding also being taken out. After removing the scaffold means the sixth floor block work can begin. There's a balcony on a three bedroom there just being put together. Now here's a good opportunity to see one of the staircases being made in terms of the actual concrete shuttering. Now you can see everything is made together with waterproof plywood and then on the top of that waterproof plywood of course is laid the reinforcing steel. Uh, everything being held together with the scaffold. This is the main staircase. Basically all the reinforcing steel being put in place. That will be the next concrete pour. Here's the bottom half of the staircase you were just watching the guy putting the reinforcing steel into. You can see again, waterproof plywood. All supported by the scaffolding. The three floors of garden area, we had to buy a huge amount of extra scaffolding which won't be required on the top floor to be building the roof. So this gives me an opportunity now to release that scaffolding, scaffold the outside of the building section by section, and now the outside rendering can begin. You can see that the corner beads are already in place. And now we have a nice safe area to produce the plastering. We're going to leave you there now with an overhead shot of the seventh floor, which is exactly where we are now, our current construction stage. You can see the columns are all nicely poured. We still have to work on the lift and the final staircase. And then we'll join you next time with marking out all of the architect plan onto the main slab and the installation of what will be the last floor of walls. So I'll see you soon. I'll see you next time.